Hi guys, in this video I will show you how to make a pixelated car transition effect. To make this transition there are three plugins, two of them are paid and one is free. I will do with a free version so everyone can create this effect later. Third plugin is Displacer Pro. Check this video's description to download this plugin. And now let's begin making transition. Duplicate your video and go to very end of your first clip. Now hold shift and press page up three times on your keyboard to go 30 frames backward. Cut duplicated layer there, then grab a roto brush tool and double click on it. Roto brush the car, the selection shouldn't be perfect, simply make a cool selection. Once you are done, click on freeze button. As the freezing is done, go back to composition. Now duplicate your second clip, hold shift and press page down three times to go 30 frames forward, Cut this layer as well, then grab a roto brush tool and roto brush the car. Now select both roto brush layers, right click and pre compose them into one layer. Make sure move all attributes and adjust composition duration are selected, then rename to whatever you want and click on OK. Now create new adjustment layer. Cut it and match it to bottom layer's length. Add Displacer Pro plugin on adjustment layer. Under the transform we have translate X and Y options. X is for horizontal effect and Y is for vertical. I want my effect to be vertical so, at the very beginning of the adjustment layer click on translate Y stopwatch icon. Then go to the middle of adjustment layer and change translate Y to around 3. Then go to very end of that layer and change it back to 0 again. If you play back the video you will see that the effect is affected on a whole video. To make this effect only on a car, Simply click on toggle switches slash modes and change your adjustments layers track mat to the bottom clip that we have pre-composed earlier. Now glitch effect is only on the car. Expand iterations and change iteration value to around 3 to smooth the effect. You can also add some 3D look on the effect, expand chromatic aberration and increase reds until it looks cool to you. Now press U on your keyboard to see created keyframes. Select all of them and press F9 on your keyboard to easy ease them. Now go to graph editor and make a smooth curve like mine, or you can play around it until it makes you happy. Lastly we can add shake effect, I will skip that part cause I have already made a shake tutorials. Also I have created 16 unique shake presets that you can get from the link in description. Check how it looks like with my shake preset. Hope this video was helpful. Thanks for watching and like the video please.